Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday. Here we are. Actually, take that back. It is actually Thursday. So, welcome to Thursday. It's just before 6 a.m. And what I'm doing today is actually I'm going to go with the thought of the day here a little early as opposed to the activity. Um, so consider this just a free day for your activity for the old throwback Thursday. But what I wanted to talk about today um, is really understanding practice. Um, you know, practice isn't protect yourself from failure. Practice isn't perfection. Practice is a time to work on either developing a new skill or pushing the limits of an existing skill, trying to master an existing skill. That's one of the things, you know, um, in coaching and coaching fundamentals is that the practices sometimes can become repetitive. You know, you're trying to hammer this fundamental in so that you can apply it over and over and over again. But some people, when they get to a fundamental that they're not comfortable with, will come to a practice and they'll protect themselves. Like they won't totally try. They won't totally commit to either running the pace that they want to run or working their stride a certain way or doing the associated exercise to their best potential because they know we got a bunch of them to do. So they're going to hold back and manage that. And then some people go there and say, okay, you know what? Uh, I've already got this one. You know, so they don't really focus on it. They just kind of do a little talking. Oh, I know this one. I don't have to worry about it. What I want to talk about though is like professional athletes practice. You know, when you watch basketball players, NBA players warm up, like they still shoot free, throw, free throws over and over again. When you watch a quarterback, you know, he still just does simple little passes, just kind of throwing, getting everything ready to go. Practice has to be purposeful. And it is a time to work on mastery. Some of the simplest drills are the hardest because you have to stay engaged mentally to do them. So sometimes they seem really, really, really easy. It's like, yeah, I'm just kind of going through the motions. But you really want to take that opportunity. Instead of going through the motions, it's once again, to either go through slower or maybe go through them faster, whatever, whatever the drill is. You do want to practice, like legitimately practice. I tell my athletes all the time, like, there's no failure of practice. Like, if you're running a speed type of workout and you go too fast, I would rather have you go too fast and find that limit and see what happens and then see if you can move that limit, see if you can get a little bit further away versus always staying within a known range. If you're staying within that known range at practice, you're, you're not developing, you know? So push it a little bit. And we talk about it all the time when I, I hear these words a uh, little practice. Anyone can do it fresh. But when you're tired, can you still mentally be there? Can you focus enough? Like that's when you need to practice. You need to practice when you're tired. You know, can you still can you develop that skill where it is a master skill that it just happens? So anyhow, on this Thursday, I think I figured I'd start your day out by, by thinking about your approach to practice, what you bring to practice. And some people love practice, some people don't. Myself, I am a huge fan. I love to practice. Love it. I like mastery. So there you have it. Have a good day. I'll be back with another video uh, later today. So I will talk with you then. Cheers, everyone. Bye now.